Hey everyone, my name is Razan Ghazouli. I'm here to present you our paper, Behavior Trees in Action, a study of robotics application that was written by me and my co-authors, Thorsten, Einer, Suheib, and Andre. Through this presentation, there will be two takeaway messages. First, we hope to get you interested in behavior tree languages, uh, where we will try to move, motivate while using it and give an example about some of its basic concepts. Second, we want you to get curious to read our paper, so we will show a teaser from our findings. So let's get started. We've all noticed how robots have become more capable of doing missions that used to be done only by humans. There is more demand to use them in a situation uh, that endanger humans, like uh, disinfecting hospitals or even just serving in a restaurant when you have a pandemic going on. Uh, we have here Diego with a mission to serve in a restaurant. Uh, robotic missions consist of different tasks or behavior uh, that needs to be coordinated. So in here for Diego, in order to serve its mission, uh, in delivering an order to a table, uh, it can either execute the task uh, of going by itself to the table if, it is, uh, if its location is none, or uh, follow human uh, to the table. These tasks are typically programmed at a relatively low level of abstraction. Uh, but what's important for the success of a robotic mission is the right coordination between these tasks or behavior. Uh, so, we want to ensure that uh, the right task coordination for an overall success mission. Uh, usually, these tasks are programmed uh, using a generic programming language, such as um, C++ or Python. The coordination between these tasks can be done in two ways, actually. Uh, some developers like to glue it within their code using the constructs offered by the generic programming language uh, used for programming their tasks. Uh, like in here, the developers use the uh, conditional statement, uh, if else, uh, to check the success of a task uh, to shift to the next one. Uh, other practitioners like to use uh, behavior modeling languages uh, like state machine or behavior trees uh, to represent uh, the coordination of tasks. They believe that uh, using a higher level of abstraction for the coordination promotes a separation of concerns between the actual task and their coordination. Uh, and it also offers them a way to visualize the actual coordination between these tasks, which is for mentability and comprehension reasons, have made them more popular to use. Uh, until a few years, state machines was uh, one of the dominated behavior modeling languages in robotic, but recently attention has turned toward behavior trees. So what is behavior tree? <clears throat> Uh, behavior trees are a directed tree. Uh, in robotic, the behavior tree languages are time triggered. Uh, they use the tick concept to trigger the entire model at typically fixed interval of time. And these ticks are issued with a specific frequency. Uh, every tick starts from the entry point of the tree, which is the root, as you can see here. And uh, as you can see, uh, trigger a traversal of the entire uh, tree to check what's called the statue of its children. Uh, a node can have one of three states. Uh, success, if a behavior is executed successfully. Failure, if it's not. Or running, if the execution has not finished yet. Uh, to understand some of behavior tree concepts, uh, let's try to build the coordination part between the tasks forming Tiego mission of delivering an order using behavior tree. Uh, as I mentioned before, Tiego can either deliver the order uh, by itself or follow a human to the table, depending if, it's, uh, if it knows the table location. Behavior tree offers different control flow node types. One of them is sequence. Uh, sequence will only return success if uh, all of its children are executed successfully uh, and it will execute them in a specific order. Uh, behaviors or tasks like following humans or checking if a table is known are modeled using execution nodes, which can be either an action uh, like uh, going to the table or a condition like checking uh, the statue if the uh, robot know the exact location of a table. Uh, another type of the uh, control flow 
are uh, selectors or uh, in some behavior tree uh, implementation is called fallback. Uh, fallbacks trigger its children uh, in a sequence until the first success is reported. Then uh, it will report its success to its parent and won't check further the rest of its children. So in here, if the table location is none for the robot, uh, it won't check uh, the uh, tasks for uh, asking human for their help. This modeling was done using a behavior tree language editor called the Groot, uh, which belongs to behavior tree CPP language. I wanted through this video to explain some behavior tree concepts to, uh, so you can have an intuition about it. Uh, but if you want to know what other behavior tree concepts exist, uh, you can find more about the different concepts and syntax in our paper. So where does this behavior tree language come from? Uh, behavior tree started in gaming industry. Uh, it's used uh, mainly to model the behavior of non-player characters. Some say uh, it's even the cornerstone uh, of the modern games AI. Halo 2 was the first game to use it, and when they realized the tremendous improvement it made to the non-player character's behavior, other games like uh, Far Cry Primal, Doom, and even other started using it. It later extended to robotic community and became also viral. In one of the key research conferences in robotic, IRIS, a dedicated workshop on behavior trees was done in 2019. Uh, also, the main open source platform for robotic software, ROS, has recently adopted Behavior Trees languages as the main customization mechanism for their navigation stack. Even the modeling community caught this fever. In one of the leading model-driven uh, community in robotics uh, called RobMoses, multiple projects were launched to create a set of best practices and tools for Behavior Trees. But moving on, uh, I hope you've realized so far uh, why more people are using behavior trees for comprehension and evolution reasons. Uh, it's easier to understand a robotic mission uh, than trying to figure out what's happening in a source code. Even for mentability, uh, debugging or expanding a mission can be done faster using behavior tree languages. And um, having a dedicated syntax and defined semantics for behavior trees uh, can enable more things to be done, uh, like doing analysis on top of behavior tree models, for example. Uh, while gluing the coordination of a mission in source code can make it harder and sometimes even impossible to have this separation of concerns. So, Moving to our paper, uh, in our study, we wanted to understand the available behavior tree languages in robotics. So to understand these languages' key concepts, we looked at their uh, key characteristics, modeling concepts, and design principle. And to understand how these behavior tree languages are used in practice, we investigated how the different behavior tree languages concepts are used in robotic projects, and what are the characteristics of uh, behavior tree models in real-world robotic projects. Uh, to understand the key concepts offered by behavior tree languages, we thoroughly analyze the three behavior tree languages implementation that are well maintained and support robotic applications. Uh, behavior tree CPP, a C++ library, and uh, two Python libraries, PyTrees and PyTree ROS. And to understand how these languages are used in practice, we analyze 75 behavior tree models that belong to 25 robotic projects. By looking at these languages that are designed outside the language community by sometimes roboticists, we've noticed that many of the modeling and language engineering methods uh, were relevant in practice, like reusability. While analyzing the 75 behavior tree models, we found they tend to use the three simple reusability patterns. 59% of behavior tree models implemented reuse by reference, 48% of them did reuse by clone and own, and finally, 10 out of the 25 projects did reuse by reference through file inclusion. Zooming into reuse by reference, uh, developers implemented it mostly uh, by creating a subtree for a repeated activity, then reusing it in multiple branches in the model. 
Another implementation they did was defining a leaf node as a function in an external file, uh, like a header file, then uh, reusing it uh, in the different branches after passing new values to its parameters. You can see how this uh, reuse mechanism is simple. And even the other two uh, we mentioned earlier are also simple. But uh, their simplicity open a question here. Would it be useful to introduce more safe and rich reuse mechanism, none from mainstream programming languages, like a safety contract through interfaces? Or uh, is it going to be a heavy weight for users to learn and use? So just keep it simple. We believe more research can be done here to determine whether a sufficiently lightweight and safe reuse mechanism could be realized for behavior tree languages. Uh, going back to our findings, so how did we find these impl three implementations and those uh, beha 75 behavior tree robotic models? To achieve our first goal in understanding behavior tree language, we wanted to find behavior tree languages that support robotic applications. So we searched GitHub for behavior tree uh, libraries in Python and C++, the two most used programming languages in robotic. Uh, we found uh, multiple implementation, but to ensure the uh, relevance of these libraries to, for real-world robotic applications, we applied multiple exclusion criteria and, extend, uh, and ended up uh, with the uh, three implementation behavior tree CPP, PyTree, and PyTree ROS. Then uh, we did a, a thorough analysis for behavior tree literature and the behavior tree languages documentation to understand behavior tree concepts. Uh, and finally, uh, we studied these concepts relation to other uh, concepts found in state machine and activity diagrams, uh, the two UML behavior diagrams that are uh, popular and well understood for modeling behaviors. Moving to our second goal in understanding the usage of behavior tree languages in uh, robotic applications, we mined GitHub repository for projects using these behavior tree languages. Uh, then uh, we manually filtered the found ones to exclude the projects belonging to a tutorial or courses, and we ended up with uh, the 75 behavior tree models. Uh, then we calculated number of metrics to understand how behavior trees concepts are used in the selected projects. More details about uh, our methods can be found uh, in our paper, but I wanted just to show you a brief explanation how we ended up with those implementation and behavior tree models. To conclude, our analysis uh, shed light on languages designed outside of the language engineering community for robotic domain. Uh, we believe our analysis is beneficial for both community as um, it helps to improve language engineering methods as well to improve the actual practices and languages. In our paper, we analyzed behavior tree languages to understand their key characteristics, modeling concepts, and design principle, and we also investigated their usage in real-world robotic applications. Our results illustrated that many of the modeling and language engineering methods are relevant in practice, and uh, developing a language um, in a ra in rather a pragmatic way uh, is successful and is also attracting practitioner not trained in language and modeling technology. But uh, of course, there are uh, some aspects that are uh, some suboptimal from the language design perspective and pose interesting opportunities for this community to make impact. In our paper, you can uh, find a link to our online appendix uh, where we contribute uh, a set of uh, behavior tree, the behavior tree models we studied. Uh, you can use them for further research. Uh, in addition, uh, to our, uh, you can find our mining scripts if you wish to replicate and expand our study to further develop this language. As an extension of our work, uh, we want to expand our list of behavior tree models and deepen the comparison uh, to the behavior modeling language state machines. My goal from this presentation is getting the SLE community interested to know more about behavior tree languages. Uh, so, if you are, you can read more in our paper 
and we hope this open discussion on how we can improve existing uh, behavior tree languages. So thank you for listening to me and I welcome any question.